What's going on guys? Welcome to week 4 of the WBE. My name is WolfClick. I'm a VGC player. I'm playing in a singles league. Um, last week we went up against Game Boy Luke and it didn't go super well. I'm not super happy with my play and so I'm looking to do a little better this week. Um, this week we're going up against Pokemon and I believe the New Orleans Pelippers. I've just totally forgotten. Um, anyways, he's a really good player. He's a really strong opponent. Um, he apparently has a lot of experience in these kind of leagues so um, he's got a scary team. He's got seven Pokemon that I think he probably could like choose six of. Um, he also has Nidoqueen, Queen, which I guess he could bring as well. But I think he's probably gonna bring six of these seven. Um, Tapu Koko, Mega Gallade, Milotic, Serena, Bronzong, Weavile, Hexorus. So um, I was looking at this team and I like was thinking about what I wanted to do. Um, I didn't put a team builder up last week because I played the match before um, before I. Like, I played the match without recording a team builder, and I didn't really want to put one up afterwards, or, like, record one after I'd already played, and also, I didn't, like, last week, I had a lot of help building the team, um, basically, I was like, what do you guys think I should do, and then I just, like, got a pace pin, and I was like, oh, this is cool, but, um, I think the fact that I didn't build it myself, um, like, probably had an impact on, like, how well I could play it, so this week, I wanted to really make sure that even if I got, in, like, influence from, um, from Joey and MV and, um, chimp that I was doing like the ideas were the majority of mine So um, when I was looking at this team, I was like, okay Like he's got Weavile and I got wrecked by Sneasel last week And I think part of the problem with why I was weak to Sneasels because I didn't bring rain So I didn't have anything that could, that could uh, outspeed it. So I was like, all right, I want Pelipper and um, I really wanted Swampert in this matchup because of Coco and Glade um, Swampert's really bulky and also like the fact that it can outspeed Mega Glade is good uh, Ferrothorn's actually really good here. Uh, Bronzong, Milotic, Coco, none of them really even I mean certainly can learn a high jump kick, but um, even still. Hexorus, I believe, learns Fire Punch from a tutor move in Gen 6. Nope. Really? Oh. I thought it learned Fire Punch. Oh, okay, well it doesn't. Um, okay, then Hexorus too. Um, and even Weavile doesn't like going head-to-head -head versus, uh, Ferrothorn. So all those Pokemon lose to Ferrothorn, so I was like, okay. My Lodic, I mean, sorry, um, um, Ferrothorn, Pelipper, Swampert. And then I was looking into my Lodic, and I was like, ah, uh, like, he's got my Lodic, I don't know. And so I was like, alright, maybe I'll use Ludicolo here. Um, whenever they have, like, water types of Scald, I like double grass option, because this way, even if Ferrothorn gets burnt, I still have another way to hitting my Lodic. And then I was like, alright, Sarina, uh, gets Rapid Spin, um, is a grass type. So I was like, what about Gengar? So I was like, okay, Gengar's pretty good versus this, pretty good versus this, pretty good versus this. Um, can, uh, nah, but then, like, uh, 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 you know, and then, like, <laughs> you know, and then like, uh, no, you know, so that's kind of how I was thinking about Gengar, and then, what did I bring last? Oh, Landorus, yeah, and then I wanted Landorus because, I don't remember why. Why did I want Landorus? Intimidate, second ground typing, uh, bug move, eh, you know, and then like Intimidate, eh, and then like Haxorus, well, I don't know, Landorus is just solid here, um, and I like Landorus, so that's what I was thinking for the mods I wanted to bring, uh, that's kind of why I reached that conclusion, and then, I, these are the sets that I built, so, um, Swampert I made really physically bulky, this makes, um, Jolly Mega Glade close combat at 3 hit KO once I've Mega Evolved, so that's important that I Mega Evolve when I can, um, uh, speed is, uh, enough to outspeed Tapu Koko at, in rain after I've Mega Evolved, which is good. I do think he's probably going to be Scarf Tapu Koko if he brings Tapu Koko here, so, um, that's something. Um, I would use Rest and Sleep Talk. Um, I don't really know, I don't remember why, but it seems solid, because, like, a lot of his attackers, if you look at his team, like, what I expect him to bring, um, so special attacker, but it doesn't really matter for Swampert. Physical attacker, special attacker, physical attacker, it doesn't matter for Swampert. Physical, this is, like, mixed, but this is physical and this is physical, so... I expect this team to be more physical, so I feel like with Swampert already having really good base defense, and then with a boost in defense nature and um, 156 EVs and max HP, like it can be really bulky. So I figured running rest um, is pretty solid, um, and then sleep talk just because I want to be able to attack even while I'm asleep. So that was kind of the theory there, um, especially like in case Swampert gets chip damage. I want to make sure that like like if like let's say. I get the opportunity to rest, and he brings, like, and I get up to full, and then he brings in Glade later, I can bring Swampert back in. Like, I can take a close combat, sleep talk, He I take another close combat and go for another sleep talk, um, and also I, I KO Glade after a sleep talk with either of these attacks. I mean, after a close combat defense drop, sorry. So that's that. Um, Pelipper, very bulky, very physically bulky. Uh, again, I, I, most of his threats are, are physical. My Lodic is special, which doesn't really matter here, and Coco is special, which really doesn't matter at all, regardless of the EV spread I run. Um, I chose to run Scald and Hurricane because, um, I didn't, I, I wanted Defog because of Stealth Rocks, I wanted Roost because I wanted Pelipper to stick around, like, in this matchup, because I have two Pokemon that really rely on the rain this time, um, and Ferrothorn also, like, and, I, like, my non-rain, like, my non-rain Pokemon really aren't that, like, 
they're not going to win this game on their own, so it's really important that Pelipper sticks around for once. I say this every week, and I always give away Pelipper, but this time, this time I'm going to try and actually keep Pelipper around. Um, yeah, Defog, get rid of Stealth Rocks, Roost to keep it alive, Scald, um, because of, um, Tepa Coco if I get the opportunity, and Nidoqueen and Bronzong, and then Hurricane because of Mega Gallade and Serena. So that's, that's kind of the theory there. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Just, I, I was like, I, want, I, I wanted to stick around, so I invested the most in bulk. Um, Ferrothorn, that actually lives Jolly Glade close combat, um, and KO's back with Gyro Ball, which is cool. Um, his only way of, like, he's kind of weak to hazards, he doesn't have anything with Defog, he only has Serena with Rapid Spin, and I've got Gengar to spin block. So, I figured, like, he has a couple Pokemon that I can set up Ferrothorn for free on, like, Bronzong, um, pretty much regardless of set. I guess maybe Hidden Power Fire, but other than that, um, yeah, so Bronzong... Can, you can set up on my loading can still set up on um tepa Kogo, depending on i don't really know how hard tepa Kogo is going to hit ferrothorn but it should be able to set up on as well so just being able to stack some hazards and then block them with the gengar um i think is solid uh i put leech on there because I, I, I like ferrothorn to stick around especially like because versus my load and bronzong if he comes in with like 50 percent takes an attack he can probably cheat and get some more health back but um yeah that's that um Landorus. Earthquake for hit like a strong stab move. I wanted a Yachi Berry here. This spread actually makes um, minus one Jolly Glade Ice Punch a three hit KO, which is kind of cool. I think um, so. You could actually switch. You can switch in Landorus not safely, but kind of safely on Glade. Um, take an Ice Punch, then um, like even if they predict your switch in with Landorus, you can take an Ice Punch in another one and still like attack like U Turn, which is important to put him into um, range of Waterfall later or Earthquake. Um, I rank Gravity again because. Um, Earthquake, two Earthquake users, um, and each of these guys have an inaccurate move, and also, like, you can, you can if you, you can set Gravity versus Bronzong, even though we do have knockoff, um, but mainly it's, it's for setting up for, um, Earthquake with Swampert, or, um, Earthquake, or Hydro Pump with Ludicolo, or Thunder with Gengar. Um, I think I wish I'd put more speed in, I wish I'd taken out the attack and put more speed in, because he has a lot of Pokemon that are, like, right in the weird speed range, that if you run speed on them, like, I'm gonna have some trouble, but I'm just gonna hope that he. I've been running Jolly Landorus, so I'm just hoping he does. <laughs> he doesn't go fast, but if he does, we're gonna have some trouble. So that that's a mistake, I think. Like I think I should have been faster, but it's too late now because we're playing in nine minutes. Um, next up we have Enfuego the Ludicolo. Um, outspeeds. Why am I so fast? I forgot why I'm so fast. There's definitely a reason why I'm this fast. Two twenty four. Why would I go that fast? Why am I this fast? Oh, this has to be Taxorus at plus one. That's right. Um, just in case he gets a Dragon Dance up. Uh, Life Orb Ludicolo hits his team really hard, uh, as you can see. Like, uh, even, like, specially defensive... Oops, wrong one. Uh, even specially defensive Bronzong. Don't like taking multiple Surfs. It's a 2KO on most Bronzong with Surf. Um, ooh, doesn't like Surf. Doesn't like Ice Beam. Doesn't like Giga Drain. Doesn't like Ice Beam. Doesn't like Hydro Pump or Surf. Like, Surf KOs Coco. Hydro Pump... I think KO's Glade. So, um, Hydro Pump is a super strong move in this matchup. And setting, like, having the option for Gravity so that, like... If I need to rely on it, I'll rely on it, even without gravity, but, um, having the option of just, like, being able to have 100% accurate Hydro Pumps for, like, three or four, three, four to, like, one turn is pretty solid. Um, yeah, Ludicolo is just a really strong sweep, and, yeah, Ludicolo is just, like, a super strong sweeper here, and, um, it's, I normally like a bulkier Ludicolo, but in this matchup I do, like, a more offensive one. I just have to, like, preserve it and make sure, like, ideally I'm not using Ludicolo until the late game, and then I'm using it when I have, like, eight turns or seven turns of rain or something, you know? Um, and lastly, so Gengar, uh, Gengar, I was like, okay, Gengar's pretty solid here, and I was like, what if we get a Choice Scarf? So, um, even though Gengar with a Choice Scarf isn't, doesn't hit as hard as the Specs variant I've been using, as I mentioned, Gengar's pretty good coverage against this guy's team, um, now we can also be non-Scarf Tapu Koko, which he probably will be, but, like, just in case, um, Thunder actually can Oko, Milotic, in Electric Terrain, um, in Rain, I mean, regardless, in Rain or in Gravity, Oko, um, Milotic, in Electric Terrain, after some prior damage, like, so excuse me, Stealth Rocks or Spikes or something, um, depending on the spread, so, um, yeah, I thought that was pretty funny, and then Sludge Wave, Outspeed Coco, um, Oko it, um, Sludge Wave almost gets Weavile or King it with some Weavile, like, with, after Stealth Rocks, so Stealth Rocks and Spikes, it should be getting it, or Thunder's even stronger in, in um, Electric Terrain if that happens, and then, uh, Shadow Ball for Bronzong, Shadow Ball for Gallade, and then Trick, just in case, like, uh, I don't really know, like, in case I get the opportunity to use it versus Bronzong, or in case there's something I want to, like, lock into a move in the late game, um, but I'm gonna play in seven minutes, so I'm gonna get going, guys, but thank you so much for watching, um, good luck to Pokemon, good luck to the New Orleans Pelippers, I really hope that's, I really, really hope that's, um, what team I'm playing, I forgot, I forgot the team name, um, it's definitely Pokemon, <coughs> seems like a nice guy, apparently he's a really experienced, really strong battle, battler, so, um, I'm gonna do my best, I hope I can play well, um, 
yeah, but thank you guys for watching. The battle will be up on my channel tomorrow. Um, I don't know what time. Probably the same time that this went up, but really no promises. Um, yeah, thanks for watching again. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more content, slash more battle, slash whatever, just subscribe. Or like if you just feel like doing it, that's cool too. Um, thanks. See you tomorrow. Peace.